Uh, so, uh, this is ask your doctor, uh, a right way to tell medicine solution. So, this is about um, providing support in the, um, in the motorway for Victorian. Yeah, so uh, what we're doing, uh, so we're, what we're doing is here, Victoria here, um, in rural and regional Victoria, uh, it can be quite difficult to see a doctor. So, uh, so maybe eight to eight weeks to queue to see the GP and four hours to travel to medical things. Yeah, so um, for specific chronic illness and conditions, we just um, uh, need to provide the telemedicine services for the patient. Yes, need Jono. So this is a person who, uh, someone who lives in Tawang, regional Victoria, and who doesn't have a place in the, in the uh, place in the city near him with the doctors. So so, so long waiting time to service. So that's our end goal, basically. Communication channel to filter and shorten medical queue time for patients. So at least what I just told you before. Um, yeah. yeah. And that. So um, the MVP, uh, so artificial intelligence chatbots um, can do diagnosis and then scheduling if doctors require the um, the patient uh, doctor appointments, the, 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 the patient can keep going and, uh, and see it for themselves uh, online. Telemedicine consultation through video, which may involve more than one medical practitioner. All right, from the technical perspective, we've got the system architecture on the front end. We use uh, Telstra, we, we try to use as much as sponsor as we can because we are hoping to win one of the prizes. <laughs> and uh, SMS uh, via Telstra, uh, chat messenger, we have uh, uh, Telegram, in this instance, Google, Google Home voice chat, um, and of course video teleconferencing via mobile app or web. And on the doctor side of things, uh, we're going to expect the doctors to be comfortable enough to speak um, remotely through the video uh, teleconferencing. On the backend infrastructure, we are going to Built an AI bot using Happy Phonica and Telegram API, uh, basically running Python. Uh, solid Telstra mobile phone networks is the biggest and the most reliable. And uh, video.io services. And uh, of course, Oracle data sources for the medical services providers directory and medical records update. Um, <coughs> and then the proposed application outline is basically we got the uh, generic uh, sort of uh, brought you. Uh, patient interaction with the system. So the patient will have a tablet PC and both will run a, a chat app um, that will connect to the video IO Telstra uh, and my health, my health record. So basically the chat app is the one that will connect the right uh, medical providers for the uh, existing and specific condition of the patient. So the user interfaces that we provided today is uh, we can log a complaint through the Telstra messaging API, make an appointment using AP Polica, and a video conference with the doctor uh, with a video. So an example of the UX is that uh, we have the, like that. So hi there, this is Pam, uh, personal medical assistant. May I start with your name, please? Uh, this is Jono, I got asthma. And then uh, how many days have you got, got it for? Have you taken any medicine? So you, uh, the reply would be yes. Uh, for about three days, uh, a family pub. Uh, and then where do you live? Uh, Toowong Regional Victoria. And then based on that location, uh, it will search the next uh, available appointment with the doctor. So the next one will be Wednesday at 10 a.m. Uh, except yes or no, it's a, it's a simple texting back, uh, yes or no. Once uh, the patient and doctors both accept uh, the invite, then it will send a new file by an email or another text. So it will simply give a link with some kind of ID. And uh, we also have an alternative to the SMS. The other uh, form of it is uh, through the Telegram chatbot, where you can actually elaborate more stuff and uh, add multimedia and things like that. 
<coughs> so for instance, in this case, the, the nearest uh, available doctor is uh, St. Kilda Road Medical Center. And you can click on that to give you a preview of, uh, uh, of the actual, how it looks like. Yeah. So the demo, we have a, a real doctor and a real patient over here. Oh, yeah, well, officially, <laughs> officially signed. Yeah. But uh, Telegram Web is basically like when you say hello, it will reply back to you with a, with an actual name. And then if I want like to make a complaint about um, symptom, headache, for instance, if I can spell symptom correctly, then it will rec look for a remote doctor. And then uh, if I want to locate doctor, so I will find, um, uh, I forgot my own command, so I'm gonna go, go to help. So I can go for nearest doctor. So the nearest doctor will ask for uh, the current location. So if I want to share the current location, I press yes. And it will it will send that we are in the corner of uh, Turek Road and uh, Circular Road. And it will calculate the nearest doctors based on the current uh, geo uh, location based on JSON provided by Oracle. And uh, you can also start video. If you start a, a video uh, making calls, uh, which uh, doctor you, you want to connect? So if, if it's really emergency, then you better dial triple zero. But if it's not that bad, then you can go to Alfred and say, okay, please connect me to Alfred and then I'll give you a link to that doctor, and I want to make a phone call to that doctor, and <coughs> here comes the real doctor, <laughs> or, or she's the real doctor, or I'll be, we'll be the patient over here. Yeah, so basically we need the, ah, yeah, sorry, a couple of more. Securities. Too, ah. too secure, yeah, too secure. All right, here we are. All right, I'll leave it up to you guys. Oh, you can do to make this a little bit better because it's looking strange on these screens. Stop you being silhouetted there. Doctor, doctor. Hello, how can I help you? I, I, I have just been, I've been talking to the chat board and they refer me to you. They send me a message through uh, the Telstra API. And I get it to this thing, so I just come and see you. Okay, thank you. That would be good. Um, yeah, so can you come in on Monday? Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we, we proved that the um, technology works as advertised. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so back to that uh, slide show that the, uh, the business values or the key benefits of having our technology is that first of all, we don't need the extra mobile app, so we don't need to develop a, a new mobile device with, which could take up to six months to test and deploy that. And uh, it will essentially shorten the waiting period by three weeks because you can see a doctor almost on the next day kind of basis. No need to travel up to four hours because the actual service for diagnosis is done remotely. Avoid unnecessary hospital admission and cut down potentially government, government spending on public health by at least 15 percent. So um, our motto is healthier patients, happier doctors, and wealthier government. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the competition is from from our old supplier, which is Video Health. I didn't realize that. I browsed that. Okay, Video Health actually is a is a sub product for the actual video solution, uh, especially for telemedicine. Uh, a reliable one too, but uh, we, we are going to compete with them because we are going to add extra values. Combination of different services like Google, Skype, My Health Records, .com.au, but nothing as integrated as ours. Scale, scalability factor, we uh, go back to this uh, scalability factor. 90% uh, of uh, Australian population are using a mobile phone. Uh, knowledge domains can be added. Uh, and deployment is more on service providers, uh, which maybe only take three months instead of the six months to deploy on clients because we only deploy on the service providers. You can also potentially repurpose that to solve other problems like uh, the education 
like virtual classroom for original students, uh, for indigenous people, for instance. Next. And uh, other potential features, uh, in, in terms of scalability, we can expand this to add more stuff like the, the drone transport of drugs, digital prescription by email, send to pharmacy, instructional treatment, like if you hurt your ankle, instead of seeing a doctor, you can just receive an instruction uh, for that. And uh, last, uh, a very potential vendors, uh, video, we've been using it, we prove it works very well. Uh, require a very low bandwidth, the Telstra SMS API, we proved it works as well, it's awesome. Epiphonica, we can integrate it with the Python uh, chatbot. So if you could uh, really uh, fund us, uh, our project, we will be uh, showered with money, but uh, at least we are, can expect for uh, to win the, the grand prize for today's show. Thank you very much. I, I, have, I have a question. We had a drone out in, in the other room uh, yesterday, and you're saying drone delivered drugs. I, I don't see a drone delivered drugs. <laughs> it's a uh, potential feature that can be embedded with our existing technology. So, for instance, if you know your location and you send your location, your drone should be able to map where we are. And being able right. to I'll let you lay as with Patrick to get that happening. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're open for partnership as well. Yes. So, uh, uh, how did you list uh, the Iphonica as one of the one of the things in there? How did that feature into your technology mix? So, in terms of uh, the chatbot itself, we have we've been using the Telegram as well as Telstra, but the Iphonica has the same feature, but it's more. Uh, expandable because we can actually deploy it and interact with the Python bot. We have a, a, a Telegram bot uh, written using Python, but API Ponica enables the in, in, interaction integrators of platform. It can send different messages to different channels. Okay. So that's the beauty of it. Cool. How long did it take you to write that bot? I, quite, I found it quite cool that it was able to point the location Oh, it's, it's very quick. I did it overnight. Well, I didn't have so much sleep uh, last night. <laughs> but I've got the basic structure beforehand. And uh, it's, 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 uh, it's based on template. So I downloaded the template and modify the location. So it calculates the uh, uh, longitude and latitude location of, a, of a medical services compared to my service. And there's a formula for it to calculate the kilometers. So it's not that hard. So Thanks before you go, I just want to say that we actually have five members, but the other two members actually remotely support us. Mm -hmm. And Basu is actually doing this uh, the video I.O. for us, you know, yes. so remotely. And basically, Vincent is also support us on, with all this medical records information. So I just want to thank them on behalf of the team. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.